Hello, good morning, reborn mommies. This is Linda. You haven't seen me on here in a long time. But I got a new baby, so I'm going to do a blanket reveal. This baby is very, very special to me. I'll start by telling you a little story. Um, in 2015, I was scrolling YouTube and discovered a baby that I just fell in love with. It was on my little tulips channel, Yvonne, and it was a box opening she had um, that you might want to go back and look at. It's a very moving box opening. It was probably back in 2015 or 2016. I can't remember. It wasn't the first doll she got, but uh, the box opening is one of her best. So that baby I fell in love with, and I fell in love with the name because when I got my first one, I couldn't think of any other name for her except Jasmine, and I named that baby Jasmine Jade. A lot of you know her from my channel. She was the first baby I ever had, and uh, she had curly hair and probably a medium tone skin. Well, I had two of these sculpts that I'm about to show you. And one I moved on to my girlfriend. Um, the other one I moved on to my girlfriend, but then she kind of made the rounds with different people. And uh, I don't know where she is now. I have no idea where she is. So we're gonna do a little blanket reveal here and you'll be able to see who's back in my nursery. I'm gonna be real careful. Maybe we'll start here and you'll recognize by the hand. I hope that's close enough. I can do a detailed video later. I'm using a new camera and I hope you can see that. Maybe I can move it a little bit. Oh, that's just going to shake it up and make it worse. And here's her little foot. Just seeing those two, you might have just figured out who it is. So let's get her sock back on because it's cold. I absolutely adore this baby. I can't put her down. I can't stop staring at her. I'm just in such awe. Now I kind of understand why some women like to use prototype artists. Not to take away with, from regular artists, I think that we all have our talents and we all do a good job, but this particular lady is La Ruben Nursery in Spain. Her name is Ruth Aguilar and I had seen her babies and I just fell in love with them. So I searched her out I checked with her feedback. She didn't have a lot of feedback because I don't think she just like really put herself out there in the community. If she did, I just hadn't come across her in like the six, seven years I've been in collecting reborn dolls. So I asked her, her tons and tons of questions and I thought she would just get really impatient with me, but she didn't. She was very, very patient, answered all my questions then I found some people who had bought from her and I checked with them about her work and working with her. And then I found someone else on another Facebook group who highly recommended her. So I went with it. I only needed to put half down and she could get the baby done in two months. And the, the wait on dolls from a lot of artists was a year um, because of being behind in the pandemic and all the things that were going on with the reborn community during the pandemic. And she did exactly what she said she'd do. She, I picked out a photo of one of her babies and asked her to do that. And she nailed it. So here we go. Yes, guys, the Noah sculpt again. There she is. Let's put your pacifier over here. 
I don't know if that's the perfect angle or not, but you can see her beautiful hair. It's a little messy right now. I, I got the brush and bottle in here, but now I don't know what I did with it. Um, I it, I can tame it really easy with uh, the, uh, um, what do I want to say, Co coconut oil or fabric softener with water. But that's, she is, she's got auburn hair, which is something I've never had on my babies. I think she could almost be a twin to Teresa's Caleb at Cloud9 Nursery. She looks so much coloring like Caleb. And of course, Caleb had red hair, but more red hair. I did have to change her body when she got here, but I always expected that that would be the case. Most of us do that with our dolls. So I had a body already for this sculpt. So I got her weighted and stuffed exactly the way I wanted it. And this time I tried something new that I've never done before. I put a piece of, it's, they're actually silicone inserts for bras. And I have bought a set years ago off of eBay from China. And I had this set left, I had never used it. I put one in her belly right here. You can see it's squishy, but not, not the way stuffing is. And I put one in her little bum and this just made her perfect. In fact, I just ordered four more, four more of those silicone uh, inserts to put in some of my other babies. So this little outfit I got from Pat Pat. It is a newborn. It's very hard to find newborn on Pat Pat. This is the only thing I found. And I got three of them. I got a gray, a cream, and this blush pink color, which is gorgeous on her. And yesterday I ordered the sage green and a kind of a teal slaty blue color for her. Because I really like them as pajamas. Right now it's cold. In fact, last night we had rain all night long. At 6.30 in the morning I woke up to hail. So it was quite a, win a wintry night. Um, I don't know if many of you watched the things that were happening in Arizona this last year. Our last summer, we had the wettest summer ever, I think. We had a lot of flash flooding. Uh, thankfully, I don't live in a flood area, so it wasn't bad for us here. But there was a lot of extreme flash flooding. Um, one of my friend's house got totally flooded, and we had to rip her floor out and help put a new floor in for her. So. A lot of things been going on, different things. We remodeled our house on the inside. Of course, we're still working on things. And uh, I started bike riding again, but because of my age, I got a little Liberty trike. And that's what I'm doing. Of course, right now it's too cold, so it's electric. So mostly it's a little workout, but mostly just for uh, something for my husband and I to do in the spring and the fall and I have a stationary bike for in, indoors but I guess I didn't announce the sculpt I assumed you knew this is the Noah sculpt by Reva Schick as you most of you know Reva passed away she's a very special sculptor this baby always reminded me of my daughter at this age in fact the same little hands same exact little hands that my daughter had. So I'm so happy to have her back in my nursery and so in love with this. I want to get more dolls from Ruth. I really do. I'm pretty topped out with uh, seven babies in my nursery right now again. I still have, uh, let's see, I still have Charlie, my Saskia sculpt. I still have uh, Jonah, my Levi sculpt. I have uh, Tabitha, which is my, oh boy, Tabitha is, 
and blank right now. Oh, the Tobias Gold. And I have Laura Lee Eagle's Little Treasure. And I have Twin A. Oh, and I also have August Sculpt now. Her name is Elizabeth. So maybe occasionally I'll pop on and show you my babies. Uh, it won't be all the time, but maybe, I don't know, once a month or once every week or two. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this blanket reveal.